everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I am on a mission to get happier and healthier before I turn 50. I want the second half of my life to be better than the first. So I am taking you along on that journey to figure out how to do that. Now, if you are interested in seeing my why and what changes I plan on making, I'm gonna leave those links below so you can go back and watch those videos. But for today, today is episode one of my monthly measurement series. I have to love my body as it is. But I would be remiss if I, if I didn't document some of these changes if they had an impact on my measurements. So each month, on the first of the month, I'm going to do a really short video updating you on my weight uh, and all my measurements from head to toe. All right, I'm in my bathroom. Sorry about the echo. I have two tools here that I would use to take my measurements. Um, Renfo is the only thing, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but we have the digital scale that's a Renfo, and we also have this digital measurement tool. Let's get to measuring, and then I'll show all my data shortly. All right, so I click on my Renfo management. I'm gonna click on that scale. We'll click add. And it tells me to step on. I'm gonna put the iPad down. And it's 246.6 pounds. That's where I am today. Now, it tells you on this iPad, uh, my weight is 246, my BMI is 41.1, body fat percentages, unfortunately, is 54.4. Fat free body weight is 112.4. And it tells visceral fat and all that stuff. Um, it actually also tells you your BMR, which is basal, uh, basal metabolic rate, which is 1472 calories. That's how many calories I burn just breathing. And unfortunately it says my metabolic age is 54. So we definitely need to improve that. <laughs> the next measuring tool is the Renfo measuring tape. This is so much better than using a regular measuring tape. It automatically records on my app here. So where before I did the weight, as you can see, I now click from weight to circumference. Click on neck and I turn my Renfo button on or Renfo measuring tape on like this. Can you see that? I make sure that the measurement's in inches. If you don't, you aren't sure, you can click and see what it's moving to. So that's centimeters, now it's back to inches. Now, what you wanna do is you take it and measure it as long as you can. And you stick this, it locks in there, right? Now, you wanna make sure it's straight and then you press this little button over here and it tightens now so i make sure the neck is selected and i hit the little check button right there so i'm gonna hit it and hold it in so i just take it off and you just click this little gray button to reel it back in and we're starting back over at zero so i'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to go ahead and take all my measurements and then I'll share all the data.
All right, so I wanna go over what the, the data my doctor gave me. I uh, went to the doctor on June 27th at about 9.45 in the morning, and at that time, my height, which hasn't changed, is 65 inches. My weight at that time was 250 pounds, and um, it gave me a body mass index of 41.6 kilograms per meter squared, which means I'm morbidly obese. <laughs> and the reference, I should be between 18.5 to 25 kilograms per meter squared. So they do give me a reference, and I'll put these up on the screen so you can see. Now, my vital signs, my peripheral pulse rate was 76 beats per minute. It should be between 60 to 100, so that was good. So my systolic, systolic blood pressure was 108, which the normal range is 90 to 120, so that was good. My diastolic blood pressure was 70, and it should be between the ranges of 60 and 80, so that looked good. Um, menial arterial pressure is 83. They didn't give me a reference for that. They just tell you what size. Um, oxygen saturation was 96% and the reference range is 94 to 100, so that looked good. My sodium levels was 143 and I should be between 136 and 145, so it looks like I'm creeping up to the, the edge of that. Um, Potassium level is four, and the reference should be between 3.5 and 5.1, so that looked good. Chloride level, 106. It should be up between 98 and 107. It looks like that's kind of high. My CO2 level was 27. Um, reference range is 23 to 29. My creatine level was 0.9. And 0 0.90, and it should be between 0 0.60 and 1.2. Calcium level was 9.3. The reference range is 8.6 to 10.3. All these, I don't really know what these mean. Um, protein total, I need to look into that because it says 6.9. It looks like I'm pretty low on that level because I should be between 6.4 to 8.9. I don't know if that's good or bad, so I will have to research that. A lot of these, um, I don't know what these are, so I'm just going to skip them. But what's important on this one is the hemoglobin A1C. Um, I am borderline of becoming pre-diabetic. Pre-diabetic is 5.7 and I'm right there at 5.6. So what's good is I'm not pre-diabetic. What's bad is I need to work on this. So anything less, I need to be less than 5.6. I'm right at 5.6. I need to be less than or equal to 5.6 and I am 5.6 exactly. The glucose level. Now my glucose level, I went in fasted um, and my glucose level was high, slightly elevated, because it should be between 70 to 105 and mine was 106 and that was my fasted glucose. So there's definitely some uh, situation there that I need to work on with my glucose levels. Uh, cholesterol was slightly elevated. Um, it should be less than or equal to 200 milligrams, and I'm at 211. My LDL cholesterol should be uh, less than or equal to 99, and I'm at 125. And uh, it looks like my VLDL cholesterol looks is right under the limit, and then my non-HDL it should be less than or equal to 129, but mine is 153. Now the doctor says she's not, uh, she's, she knows those are slightly high, but she's not concerned with them at this time. And I told her what I was planning on doing, that uh, the changes I was planning on making, and she's really excited to see how those changes next year. So I'm just gonna go in for um, my annual checkup in July of next year. So my thyroid, um, it, your thyroid should have a range between 0.45 to 5.3 and mine's right in the middle at 3.17 so my thyroid's okay. And my HCT levels are slightly elevated. It's supposed to be between a range of 33.3 to 41.4. 
um, and mine is 41.6. And there's something else, the RDWSD is slightly elevated, but I don't know what that actually represents. So, but anyway, those are my results from my doctor. So I'm actually pleased that I don't have any severe health concerns, despite the fact that I'm morbidly obese. So if I'm going to make these changes, now it's the time to do it before it gets any worse. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next update, which will be August 1st, and I'll share if any changes have made. All right, you guys have a great one and see you in the next video. Bye.